Hello. Would you please tell us what do you think about Cardio Alex this year? Yeah, Cardio Alex, uh, as usual, is a very big and a very important meeting of all the cardiologists around the world because you can have more than uh, <coughs> 30 to 35 countries who are represented here and I think that even for uh, the Middle East, for uh, Africa and for the rest part of the world, it is a very big meeting uh, for cardiologists and for medical education, continuous medical education. And I think uh, the topics which are discussed are innovating, innovating, and they are very important for the medical, continuous medical education, even for the doctors and for the patients themselves. Uh, would you please tell us about your sessions today? Uh, the session today I have uh, presented a, a, a presentation on uh, cardiac risk factor during uh, exercise in, uh, in hypertensive patients. So we know that uh, a lot of people go for sport, but sometimes they did not go to check their heart health in the, in the cardiologist. So it's very important to let them know when you have high blood pressure, you should go to see the cardiologist to let you know if you can, which kind of sport you can do and when and uh, the level of sport you can reach. If you are young and uh, you have high blood pressure, <coughs> he will look and uh, tell you if uh, the uh, hypertension is essential or secondary, and he will give you a treatment. And if you have been an old sportist, you should uh, be patient to go and uh, check in the, with uh, your cardiologist. He will tell you what is your actual status. And uh, he will uh, recommend you the kind of sport and the kind of effort you can do. Sport is very good for our population, and sport is very, very important for all the patients and for even those who are not hypertensive to make prevention. But it should be adapted because sometimes there are some cardiac abnormalities which can increase the risk of cardiovascular death particularly sudden, sudden death. You can see sometimes even for young sportists playing football or playing soccer or playing running, they can have, they can have sudden death uh, during sport because they have some cardiac disease which has not been discovered before. So this is why it is very, very important to go through cardiac screening, clinical, family story, and EKG and echocardiogram, and uh, some blood tests like uh, glucose, blood glucose, ion, and uh, uh, other echocardiogram and electrocardiogram to check very carefully and see if there is no cardiac disease behind. So first go to the doctor, he will check you and advise you if you have been a former sportist, when you can restart your sport and how. And uh, if there is something wrong with your high blood pressure or even your heart, he can tell you and advise you before you start. And you can go for regular checkups. Please tell us what is the main cause of heart failure? Yes, the, heart, the main cause of heart failure in Africa have made a lot of studies. Yesterday I did my presentation of the epidemiology of that feather in my country. And the first cause we have discovered in our country is high blood pressure. Almost half of the people who have uh, 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 had failure, they have high blood pressure, sometimes at around between 50 and 80, sometimes uh, 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 70 of the heart failure patients, they have had high blood pressure. And but there are some comorbidities who can be added to this uh, uh, status of heart failure, like diabetes. In my country, at least one patient on 10 has diabetes. And there can have some 
uh, uh, etiologies like uh, cardiomyopathy, ischemic heart disease, valvular heart disease, and in Europe, even congenital heart disease. A specific point should be made in Africa, particularly in a, a very uh, a, a little or poor economic situation, like uh, ladies who can develop dilated cardiomyopathy after pregnancy or during pregnancy. The last months of the pregnancy and the first weeks after delivery, they can have pregnancy and uh, heart failure. And sometimes they come, they deliver the baby, and unfortunately they, they die. So to prevent that, the lady should go during pregnancy to be checked up and see if her, her heart is capable to support the pregnancy. And uh, after pregnancy, she should go to her gynecologist to see if it is not time to stop pregnancy because sometimes pregnancy is a big effort for the heart, particularly if this heart has uh, some disease or some congenital abnormalities which should be detected before, uh, before the pregnancy and cure if possible. After one or two pregnancies in that cases, it is recommended to go, to go for uh, uh, interruption of that pregnancy because, uh, and prevention for pregnancy because sometimes too much pregnancies can make heart failure definitive and sometimes it can provoke the death of the mother. So it is not normal to let ladies getting pregnant when their lives are in danger. So we have to prevent this kind of disease and in our population almost 12% uh, of the heart failures, like uh, one, one heart failure on eight are due to this, to this kind of uh, cardiomyopathy. And there are some other etiologies like uh, thyroid di disturbance and some infections and anemia are added to this uh, particular situation of heart uh, failure, which can damage the cardiovascular status of the patient, particularly anemia, infection, pulmonary infection, and uh, uh, urinary tract infection. So uh, to summarize, I should tell you that uh, the causes of heart failure are a lot, and uh, as soon as you have the first uh, symptoms of heart failure, like you, are, uh, you have dyspnea and uh, you uh, start to, to suffer uh, from uh, this heart failure, you have to go to see the cardiologist to detect and see what is the cause and to give you the proper treatment. Thank you, Professor Ali, for being with us, with us today. Thank you. It's Thank my you. pleasure, too. It's my it's pleasure. Okay.